not feeling well. She's there through the night, then shows up the next day trying to take one of their children with her as well. She walked from the hospital to their house and left the car there. It's a short distance, but not close enough to be an easy or comfortable walk. The boyfriend didn't let her take the child and was unnerved when he saw that the car was outside. She was then in the hospital for up two weeks and made it to where no one could go see her. She didn't have any way to communicate with anyone, and she left her phone at home. Once she got out, she's discharged with medication that she has to take for new conditions for her already bad health. Apparently she had a heart attack and stroke. She's almost 28. Before all this being around her, it was carefree and easy. Now it's like it's something pretending to be her. Menacing, negative. That's the only thing I can think to describe her. For about a month or so, she's been experiencing weird things in her home. Things I've witnessed on occasion. Like toys on top of the fridge lighting up. A bubble gun showing bubbles in a kitchen with no person around. She believed this was her deceased son who died roughly four years ago, a day or two after he was born. She's a practicing witch. She doesn't classify herself as a particular one. She's been drawing on things outside her home in no seemingly ordinary manner. I'm talking about how she'd let her son's presence yeah, to practice. Which is right now. Seeing her we'll see the form is very play. positive, well chilled. Don't forget about this In addition to herself giving second. up a menacing vibe, the author now just feels wrong. Like it's tainted or something. Being in the house now is pretty much unbearable, and conversing with her doesn't feel like a conversation anymore. It feels like something is trying to act like her with that information. What's everyone's thoughts? Basically, I've had experiences where people I'm close to get an injury or sickness, and I experience it too. It's happened enough to where I wonder what is going on. I'll give three examples, though I do have a few more. One was when my sister broke her arm. My arm started getting sore and hurt really bad for like two days before I found out she'd broken her arm. She lives in another state and we don't talk often, so it took some time before I found out. My arm stayed sore for a few more days. I didn't bother going to the doctor. Another example was when my foot hurt so bad I could barely walk. I went to the doctor and they found nothing wrong with me. I came to find out my aunt had slipped on some ice and broke her ankle, which is where the pain in my foot was coming from. Again, I didn't find out for a few days after it happened and the pain started the same day as her injury. The best example, and I think the strangest, is this. My brother-in-law got...